guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom here, and welcome back to more Disgaea Hour of Darkness. Last time... I forgot what we did. Okay, we searched around the Blazing Core more, but still no sign of Flan's Pendant, or that ugly-looking angel guy. So, in this episode, we are going to, you guessed it, go back to the Blazing Core. Now, think about this. Hmm... Every other fourth segment of each episode has been a boss fight. So, I wonder what awaits us in the fourth segment of this episode. Maybe it's a boss fight! Well, let's go and find out. <laughs> Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. <gasps> what? The pendant shining. Ah! Hot! Hot! Too hot! I have no use for this anymore. Oh. oh! That hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous! Hmm? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant! It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior! I thank you, O oh God! Moron! What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called Moi a moron? Me! Oh, what a lucky day indeed! To be able to confront my rival once again! Uh, wait a second! Since when did I become your rival? Hey! It's Midboss! Why are you still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead. Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis. <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle. You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Midboss, may I have the pendant? It's mine! <laughs> With all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it! I beg of you! I... I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart! If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes he should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Enough! I told you, you're mid-boss! <laughs> Say what you wish! But do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid-boss. Hey, you just admitted that you're a mid-boss. Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name Mid-Boss again! 
since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! If you thought that we were going to have a boss fight, you're wrong! Because this is clearly a mid-boss fight! Even mid-boss himself admitted to it! Anyways, it's mid-boss again, and boy, he looks a lot tougher this time around. But that doesn't matter, because he's still no match for the great and powerful Prince Lahara! And his vassals. So, let's go ahead and start off here. Come to think of no wait, never mind. Alright. So, as you can see, we have standard enemies once again. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna see if I can't no. Oh that's right, Warhol has seven movement because I quit cross trainers to him a while ago. Blech, bit of a brain fart there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to start getting to killing these guys. I'll dispatch me over there as well. And let's see, who else could I dispatch that could be of use? Uh, Cameron could be useful now. Cameron start the attack. And I'll join, and in the meantime, Galaxia will cast up a shield to defend us with. Because I'm pretty sure if that guy does, survives, he will counter Laharl. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm certain he will counter Laharl. Okay, now in the meantime, I gotta talk about something else that has been, well, on my mind for a bit. The origins of the characters of Galaxia and Lucille. I bet you're thinking, I've never seen these two characters before, do they exist in real life? Well, I think you can tell, maybe from Galaxia's name, that at least she doesn't exist in real life. As for Lucille, neither her. No, they... No, sadly enough, they are not real acquaintances of mine. There are only three characters, or four characters I'm planning on putting in this game that are real-life acquaintances. Or... Yeah, you get the idea. Well, actually, you know, in this case, I'm wrong, so... Ignore what I said! Now, as for their origins, Galaxia is named after Meta Knight Sword. The Galaxia Sword. Why is this? Because it's a freaking awesome name! That, and I'm sure that there are other reasons behind it. But aside from that, I don't know. Just always felt some sort of connection to, I don't know, Midnight Sword, because it looks freaking awesome. Can't deny that. And as for Lucille, uh, she is another one of my OCs. Both of these girls are my OCs. I guess I'll go ahead and end now. In case you couldn't tell, they are both my OCs. Um... Well, Harl's taking a bit of a beating here. Okay. Right, sorry about going quiet there. Now then. We'll see you... I think, but you said you have a sister in real life, don't you? Yes, I do. Is she Lucille? <laughs> no! Far from as Lucille as you could get. Uh, Casey is my real sister. She is a year and a half older than me. Well, actually, more like... I don't know. Right now, she's 22, and I'm still 19, so... Wait, no, I'm 20 as well. I'm 20, so... Wow, I forgot my own age. Quality entertainment. Yes, and they are very different all around. Casey is my older sister, Lucille is my younger sister. I relate to Casey by blood. Lucille, in my, in my works, she is actually my sister by family, not by blood. I won't hold back. So then. Uh... <laughs> Okay, well, less experience for Etna now. Which means we don't have much more to deal with left now, I mean. Huh. I'll go ahead and... Ooh, I got an idea. 
I did heal, so hopefully Nehru is back in shape. Now, uh, what? Why can't I? Oh, that's right, I had her heal this turn. Okay, um, well, in that case, I guess I will just attack this guy with Hurricane Slash. I mean, not really much else I can do. Yeah. So yeah, that's the, those are the origins of Galaxia and Lucille. Um, there are actually Lucille's a character in my stuff that I work on, which I have never really shown to anyone else aside from Cameron. So I have a question for you guys now: Would you guys be interested in seeing what I do in my spare time? when I'm not doing LPs or sleeping or anything else for that matter. I mean, even if the one person who does watch this yeah. says, I think that'd be interesting, that would be enough for me. Of course, I, I'm not talking about Cameron, though, because he's... Bleh. I mean, he does count as one person who watches this, but I'm talking about people I don't know in person. Any of my fans who... <laughs> Any of my quote-unquote fans who would think it would be a good idea. Alright, but enough of me talking. Let's get back to this battle. Um, These guys, the shadows, I'm not sure how they are stat-wise. Let's see. Uh, oh, they have some pretty damn high attack. And their intellect is pretty nice, too. Yeah, another thing. Uh, I would always go for capturing monsters over creating them. Because, uh, monsters with, uh, on the field, their stats are always going to be higher than any monster you can create. So, it's basically just a waste of mana to do that. Excuse me. To... Crap, I forgot. To, to make monsters out of your own mana, is what I'm saying. So... I'm pretty sure that'll kill him, but just to be, be on the safe side, I'll have Flan finish up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have Flan go ahead and go after mid-boss himself. Because, well, he has her pendant for one, and I'm pretty sure she would like that back now. Uh, Cameron do a tri-burst on this guy. And, Flan shall go over here and... Wow, this is one awkward angle to fight. Target height problem? Really? From that height? Hold on a minute. I want to see how much of a problem that is. It's just two devil meters away. I'm not sure what how you pronounce that, but I call it devil meters, because everything else in this game has some sort of hellish pun about it. Why not me go ahead and... Why not me go ahead and... Why don't I go ahead and just add on to those things. Alright, I think that should be plenty. Huh. You're dead. I was not thinking she was gonna do that. Wow, but Edna managed to do a lot of damage to him. Oh. Well. Huh. I am surprised. I am getting damaged quite a bit now. Uh, and that's not very nice of you. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure Cameron will be able to finish him with another try burst. Uh, unless, of course, he's out of range. Okay, well, still. Now that should be able to get him. Now that should be able to get him! In case any of you guys are wondering where that's from, I believe it's from that, uh, movie Sidekicks. Yeah, a movie called Sidekicks with Chuck Norris in it. I haven't watched it, but I have seen the Nostalgia Critics review of it, so... Uh, yeah. I just love that quote so much because it's so over the top and just all around... All around ridiculous. But enough about me talking about movies. Let's get back to this battle. 
So, now. We should be able to finish mid-boss off with one good combo here. If I can get one on him, that is. So, here's what I'm gonna try to do. Something like, also, in other games, in of the Disgaea series, you can also, you're also able to check your percentage of being able to hit the enemy. Which is very, 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 very much appreciated in some circles. Now, I... Oh, come on! Fine, then! Be that way, jerk! Wait, I did have Bond. Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> so, hopefully this should be able to do some good amount of damage Drop on him. dead. Come on, just a bit more. And I think Wall's gonna finish him. Excellent job! And mid boss is defeated once again! What, you guys? <laughs> you guys didn't really think you wouldn't see him again, right? Alright, enough about that. I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle. But let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. Ah, my pendant! Make such a pitiful face. Hmm, isn't this what you're looking for? Laharo! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from you. <laughs> well, what's so funny? Thank you, Laharo. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Uh, do I have to spell it out? The reward! Give me the something good you promised me! Oh, that! I already gave it to you. What? Put your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? The warmth inside your heart? You faced great danger to find this pendant. You pretend to be only evil, but there is definitely kindness in your heart. To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness? That is my reward for you. Say something so crazy! Kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! Damn it! I'll remember this! Deceiving the prince, huh? Not bad at all. Really? You look happy. Yes, I am. I now know that there is love within Laharl's heart. And if there is love inside him, that means there is love in all demons. 
one day, angels and demons could be friends. I couldn't be happier. Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. But you're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Hmm. Are you like that, Etna? Maybe. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Damn that flan! She managed to survive. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Consider yourself lucky this time. But I, Volcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end. Got that? Don't forget it. Even if I don't make an appearance for a while. Promise me. are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their already shaky confidence at the hands of the merciless Dark Durian Nye. Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, Etna, a mysterious pinch hitter, appears, awakening the Rotten Peaches' true baseball spirit. Etna's soul burns brightly. You shouldn't play with fire. Muddy Slugger Etna, Episode 5, The Miracle Full Base Patrick, kick off into tomorrow. Huh? Is this not baseball? Am I the only one there who's thinking Volcanus is talking to the freaking player at the end there? <laughs> okay, well, if you think that's funny, a word of warning to you. Episode 5! Prepare to laugh your ass off the entire episode. Alright, so next time on Disgaea Hour of Darkness, we will start Episode 5. Laters! <laughs>